Chappets and Happy New Year! I hope you're having a great one. Now, 2016 is going to see the start of some more video reviews for board games, but as you can see at the moment, I'm a tad handicapped. So I thought I'd give you a cooking recipe. This is a family favourite recipe which goes down really well here. It's called Spaghetti a la Cockroach. It's a very simple recipe. You get a pan, you heat it, and you boil some water. You add a splash of oil and a splash of salt, and then you get the pasta and wait for the pasta to cook. Afterwards, you drain the pasta um, over, with a colander, obviously, and then you add the cockroaches. Now, the one important tip I will say about this is always add dead cockroaches, because the live ones will eat the pasta before you do. The object of the game for Bugs in the Kitchen is to trap five of these nanobots into your traps. And this is done very simply by rolling the dice and then using the result of the dice to move whatever the result is, whether it be a fork, a spoon or a knife. Now as you can see, the board is actually in the base of the box and you will have to do a bit of construction when you open the game for the first time. It's quite easy to do, 5 to 10 minutes and it's done. There's a nice little pamphlet which is the instruction manual which can tell you how good this game is going to be. It has some setups where you should position these knives and forks which are in the box. It also has some barriers which you can use to close off traps for players that are not playing. So if there's only two players you can put two walls on and then two players can play because there's only two tracks active. And then it's a simple case of switching on your bug and putting it into the centre and away you go. You roll the dice, the result is a knife, you move a knife. The result is a spoon, you move a spoon. The result is a question mark, you move whatever you want and let the bug fly. Go on then, fly. Yay! Bingo! Whenever the bug falls into your trap, you take a token. This is a point. Woohoo! You get five of these, you win the game. Now there is a variation in the rules which says that you can uh, do it so the bug falls into someone else's trap. And when someone gets five traps, cockroaches, they lose the game. And then the other players win. So you choose what variant you want to play with. And that is basically the game. Now, I can't really show you how the game really plays because I'm just one person with one hand. The game is real time, so what's going to be happening is there's going to be a player rolling the dice and then moving some cutlery. And then immediately the next player will be grabbing the dice, rolling it and moving some cutlery as quick as they can because they want to trap the bug. Or if you're playing the alternate version, they'll be wanting to stop the bug from going into their trap or their home. Now, that is where the problem lies with this game. The rules are very vague and you will find yourself having to make some house rules because how long should a player take to roll the dice and then decide that they're going to move something? Because as you saw from what I did on my own, you could just let the bug walk around until it falls into your trap and you go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you will have to make some kind of house rule in regards to that. Again, another little house rule that you might have to make is when someone is moving a fork or a spoon 90 degrees, uh, that they don't push the bug with their hand at the same time. I found that this can be a bit annoying and a bit of a cheating way for a player to win as well. Um, apart from that, the game is a fun kids game. It is aimed at kids and it is quite a fun game. 
you'll play it one or two times and then you'll walk away and you'll leave your kids to play on their own and then the game will come out a couple of weeks later and then you'll play it again and just have a laugh it's that kind of game it's nothing serious it is just really jovial and fun another problem that I have with the game is the components the components are nice but sometimes it's hard for people that have difficulty with seeing uh, what result they've re rolled on their dice. They might have rolled a fork, or a knife, or a spoon, and they can't tell the difference because the images all look roughly the same. Again, the same with the cutlery on the board. They are very samey, and it's hard to tell which is which, especially when there's the pressure of time on you. Um, so uh, that could have been easily solved with a bit of coloration, I feel. If the cutlery had been coloured and the dice had been coloured, it would have been easier for the players to tell. But overall, it's a very quick, light game. Uh, great for kids. Kids will play this a lot. And even if they don't play the game on its own, they'll make labyrinths with the cutlery and put the bug through it. Or they just take the bug itself and just play with the bug. Again, these bugs are um, a toy. You can actually buy more of these bugs um, separately. And you can also buy them like in the hamster tracks as well. So you can just set them off in hamster tracks and buy these. Well, I'm getting off the point now. Bugs in a kitchen, very like kids game. Okay, remember though, you don't have to buy every game out there, just own the good one.